yes good evening once again sorry good morning once again good morning sir mm. yeah today we will yeah. be discussing about the cases which i hope that you have you might have read about the cases during our last session on corporate governance we had discussed <coughs> that we will be first discussing about the major two three cases related to corporate governance and then we will start with the sessions so i hope that every one of you has gone through with those cases which were those cases am i audible to all yes sir ha yes, oh, thank sir. you <clears throat> thank you thank you yes so during our last lecture i hope that you remember or you can recall that during our last lecture we had discussed that first we will try to discuss two three cases related to corporate governance so that <coughs> <coughs> sorry you will come to know about the meaning or concept of corporate governance and then we will start with the actual syllabus so in the syllabus itself there are very famous four five cases that we had already uh, we already know that what cases we had to study or we had to discuss in class so out of that two three cases we had given you for homework that please come prepared on these cases try to get as much as you can the information related to those cases so that it will be easier for you to discuss in the class once you know about the root causes of these cases then it will be easier for you to understand the meaning of the term corporate governance why it was necessary on the part of government to make certain rules and regulations related to corporate governance yes which were those cases <clears throat> okay what is the meaning of corporate governance i am not talking about the definition of corporate governance whatever you feel <clears throat> that yes this could be the meaning of corporate governance it consists of two terms one is corporate the other one is governance if you know the meaning of these two words rest is very simple yes yes Uh, <laughs> governance, sir, I can say is a system of rule or practices and the process by which a firm directed and controlled. Okay. Anything else? Yes, it is correct. Anything else? Corporate is what? <clears throat> what is corporate? now every one of you is aware of what is corporate it is not a term which you are hearing for the first time so every one of you is aware of what is corporate what is corporate <clears throat> uh, we can say the uh, board of uh, directors of the company so to make the company in a गुड वे सॉरी कंपनी को अच्छी तरह से चलाने के लिए जो बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स होते हैं और जो रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस बनाते हैं उसको कॉर्पोरेट बोल सकते हैं हम उसको कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस बराबर नहीं ओनली कॉर्पोरेट और कॉर्पोरेट ओके एनीबॉडी एल्स इट इज अ फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ कंपनीज ऑब्जेक्टिव ओके यू ऑल आर गिविंग मी डेफिनेशन सिंपल मीनिंग एक एक वर्ड में क्या मतलब हो सकता है कॉर्पोरेट इज व्हाट व्हाट इज कॉर्पोरेट 
in simple words we can say corporation can be called as corporate organization can be called as corporate company can be called as corporate governance is what everywhere governance is required without governance no system can run <coughs> properly so that is why governance is required so simple meaning of governance is a set of rules and regulation formed for a particular or for good working of an organization so any rules or set of rules which are formed for proper working of corporates corporations organizations companies is called as corporate governance bahut simple technical definition in the next lecture we will be discussing that what is the definition of corporate governance but in simple words koi bhi company agar hai to wo company kaise chalani chahiye kya rules regulation hone chahiye उसी को रिलेटेड अगर हम लोग बोलेंगे तो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कॉर्पोरेट एंड गवर्नेंस एंड इट्स गवर्नेंस यस कौन से थे वो दो तीन केसेस अरे किसी को तो याद होगा साइबर साइबर मिस्ट्री डिस्प्यूट सर टाटा वर्स साइबर मिस्ट्री हाँ सत्यम केस राजू हाँ यस तो हाउ मेनी केसेस वर गिवन सर टू केसेस ओके वन वॉज रिलेटेड टू टाटा ग्रुप एंड द अदर वॉज रिलेटेड टू सत्यम यस सर सो हु हैज रेड द केसेस दीज आर वेरी फेमस केसेस इफ you are a student of mba it is expected that you should be aware of these cases in an interview if somebody ask you related any question related to these cases and if you are unable to answer and if you say that you are not aware of these cases that will be a very very sorry situation because as a management graduate as a business management student you should be aware of what is happening in the business environment not only in the country but all over the world global perspective we will be discussing but in i think it is in fourth or fifth units that we will be discussing the uh, corporate governance related to global perspective now we will limit our discussion to india only or indian companies only <clears throat> now i hope that everyone is aware of what has happened recently say 3 4 or 4 5 years back to tata group of companies and what has happened in the early 2000s to satyam computers so i hope that everyone has heard the uh, name of the company which is called as satyam satyam ka naam suna hai sabne वेरी गुड वेरी गुड किसने सुना है बोलिए अभी वॉट वॉज सत्यम सत्यम वॉज अ सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनी सत्यम वॉज अ सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनी हैदराबाद कंपनी के अंदर कुछ तो ये हुआ था सर रिगार्डिंग टू द कंपनीज शेयर्स और इसके रिगार्डिंग कुछ तो था याद नहीं सर मुझे ओके ठीक है किसको याद है सर रियल स्टेट में वो फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट मैनुपुलेट कर रहे थे और जो प्रॉफिट सिक्सटी करोड़ होगा तो वो सिक्स थाउजेंड करोड़ दिखा रहे थे और शेयर प्राइस इंक्रीज कर रहे थे वो बाकी कोलेक्टर अपॉन लोन लेकर उन्होंने प्रॉपर्टी खरीदी थी सर हाँ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग किया था इन सैडर ट्रेनिंग किया था उन लोगों ने अकाउंटिंग फ्रॉड भी किया था सर वेरी गुड और सो वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ओमकार सो यू हैव रेड द केस वेरी गुड 
Yes, anyone else? Okay, no one. Now, why this corporate governance gained importance? It is because of some very famous cases. The first case which we all can recall is the case of Big Bull. Now, everyone is aware of Harshad Mehta or you might have heard about this person Harshad Mehta who was called as the big bull his case in 1992 was the case which made the government to frame certain rules and regulations for the private entities too. For government organization, yes, there are certain rules and regulations which they need to follow. But once we started with implementation of LPG, LPG, I hope that everyone is aware of. In the year 1991, government of India started implementing LPG. LPG is what? What is LPG? Everyone of you is aware of. Just try to recall it. कोई नया कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं है सबको पता है कि क्या है एलपीजी चलिए एलपीजी पेट्रोलियम गैस हेलो ये संकुर एलपीजी या पेट्रोलियम गैस तो नहीं Sir, liberalization, privatization and globalization. Very good. So that was the concept of LPG which the government of India started implementing in 1991. Before that, our economy was closed economy. And after implementation of LPG, our economy became an opened economy. Closed economy means foreign investors were not allowed to invest in Indian companies or the rules and regulations were so strict that the foreign companies hesitated to invest in India before 1991. As the global companies were growing, global economy was growing, so India also decided that we should also open our economy. And that was the reason why the government started with implementation of LPG. And all of a sudden, when everything was open because of liberalization, privatization and globalization, the rules which were earlier very stringent, very strict, they were relaxed and foreign companies were allowed to invest in Indian companies or Indian market. As the rules were very relaxed, some of the companies, they took the advantages of these relaxed rules to their benefit, to the benefit of particular persons. So they started manipulating some. And because of those manipulations, there was loss to the shareholders, loss to the companies and a loss to the image of the country also and then the government thought that yes we should be starting with certain rules and regulation which will be playing the role of a monitoring system that whether the organization is conducting its business properly or not. So a set of rules were formed and a body 
was also separately formed which will regulate the companies whether they are following these rules and regulations while conducting their business or not it was not to harass the businessmen it was not so strictly implemented these were just the guidelines which are to be followed to check that the organization should move in a right direction and there should not be loss to the shareholders or it should not negatively affect the image of the country and that was the reason why sebi came into existence later on we will be talking about the starting of sebi or the roles and uh, functions of sebi responsibilities of sebi that we will be discussing later on now that was first reason first scam or first major scam we can say was by arshad mehta and then the next major scam which made the government to make certain strict rules that if these rules are broken then the board of directors of the company or owner of the company or director of the company or general manager of the company or the main persons of the company can be can be punished severely by the law and one of the cases that resulted uh, because of that uh, all these things resulted was the satyam group or satyam computers as it was earlier known as now as omkar has rightly said that they had manipulated the balance sheet to the extent to make the investors to make the shareholders believe that the company is earning profits in crores and crores of rupees say if the profit was 100 crore it was shown a profit of 1000 crore so that way the company was manipulating its balance sheet now the reason behind why these manipulations was done was very simple and the reason was that company wanted to increase the price of its share very simple that if the company is progressing very fast people will buy the company share very fast and if more shares are bought of a particular company automatically their share value increases and if shares are sold more if their value is increasing the company is able to generate more capital but the rule was that balance sheet not should not be manipulated but still mr ramling raju who was the owner of satyam computers he manipulated the balance sheets to make the investors believe that the company is hugely getting a uh, huge uh, profits so this all started in 2000 early 2000 in 90s satyam computer was one of the top most it company of india at par with wipro infosys and tcs it was considered as one of the finest it company of india which was having clients in foreign countries also 
but later on when these mal practices started happening that was the declining period for satyam computers in 90s it was one of the best companies to work in it was one of the best company in terms of paying the employees it was one of the best company in terms of service serving the clients they were able to get clients or they were the tough competitors for tcs for infosys and for wipro in 1990s but as the company grew the company wanted to expand because of open economy and because of lots and lots of foreign investment the company thought that the real estate is one of the lucrative option if they will invest in real estate the returns will be very huge and that was the reason why mr ramlinga raju formed two companies which were dealing with real estate and it is always said that when you are expanding your business when you are going for expansion you should always keep in mind that the expansion should not be so huge that it has gone out of your control and you should always do the expansion in the field where you have knowledge or of which you have knowledge ramlinga raju was expert in it but he was not that expert when it turns to uh, when it turned to the real estate in 2000 yes real estate was booming and he wanted to make his company number one company and for that he started investing hugely in the real estate also so the profits of satyam computer were drive uh, diverted to real estate business but the real estate could not give the company the desired returns <coughs> and because of that the company started losing the profits but as it was one of the top company in the country he didn't wanted that the investors should be aware of the fact that his real estate companies or the money which has been invested in real estate is not making profit so he started he got an idea that for the time being <coughs> for one year for two year for three year whatever he might have thought for time being when he can make the company again profitable let's manipulate the balance sheets so he started manipulating the balance sheets <coughs> where there were losses actually displayed or included in the balance sheet he changed those losses the figures of losses into profits that we are a company which is making 100 crores of profit 200 crores of profit 500 crores of profit and because of that the investors started investing in it but later on when the real estate company 
started making huge losses real estate companies where mr ramaling raju has made the investments when they started making the losses and when some cases were filed against the real estate companies and on the investigation when it was proved that he was making some <coughs> manipulations in the balance sheets then the enquiry was conducted against the uh, against the company that is satyam computer and it was proved that yes he was making some manipulations so later on he was sent to prison also and fine was also imposed on the company and the company eventually went into losses not only the company was into losses but because of that false manipulation many of the shareholders many of the investors they lost their money too once this case was discussed um, or uh, found at that time the government made some changes in the existing rules and then heavy penalty and punishment was imposed or included that any person who indulges in such type of activity that person is liable for heavy penalty as well as punishment so we will now be discussing that after every famous case how the corporate governance rules and regulations have changed we will be discussing certain committees also jj irani committee on corporate governance then narayan murthy committee on corporate governance so these we will be just try uh, we will be discussing to find out how these companies have changed the entire rules and regulations of corporate governance or why the government was after every committee after 4 5 years or 6 years why the government is constituting another committee just to check whether everything is correct in the industrial sector or not if not what are the recommendations of these committees what all changes can be made in the existing rules and regulations related to corporate governance that we will be discussing so that was the case of ramling raju the person who started his business from scratch who reached at the top but because of some bad decisions and just to cover up those bad decisions he started manipulations and how these bad practices of governance in satyam computers led to the fall of a company which was at the top in 1990s now the second case is related to tatas now this is a very famous case which i hope that everyone is aware of now who is going to start the tata case tata case to bahut hi famous hai sabko pata hai ki kya hua tha 
पेपर में भी आता था मैगजीन्स में आता था सर टाटा वर्सेस साइज में सिर्फ इसमें तीन टाइप वेट 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 होम कर यस एनीबॉडी एल्स लेट्स गिव एवरीवन अ चांस Sixteen students are present, so equal chance should be given to each and every one. Every one was given the task that please come prepared for this particular case. If you search on Google, you will get lots and lots of information. अगर आप newspaper पढ़ते होंगे तो you can very easily recall. अगर आप news देखते हैं तो you can very easily recall. व्हाट्सएप पे यूट्यूब पे फेसबुक पे सबके ऊपर ये केस बहुत फेमस केस है बहुत डिस्कस हुआ बहुत वाइडली रिपोर्टेड हुआ इसलिए एवरीवन शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ यस कौन बोलेगा नौ दिस इयर द इंस्टीट्यूट हैज स्टार्टेड वन मोर थिंग एंड दैट इज दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड द सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑफ ई बिजनेस मैगजीन बहुत सारे ई बिजनेस मैगजीन को हमने सब्सक्राइब किया है the institute is paying a huge amount for that dalal street journal ho nse index ho business india business world bloomsburg aur aise bahut sare wall street journal bahut sare magazines humne subscribe kiye hain now the reason behind this subscription is as you might have read in newspapers also that because of this online teaching the learning level of the student is declining and because of this in the interviews also it has been observed by various companies you might have read in uh, the recent newspaper articles also that why and how the employability skills of mba and engineering graduate is steadily declining and the reason behind is that the student are unable to update their skills or update their knowledge so from our end we have subscribed to these magazines and very shortly in in this week only we will be sending you the e copies of these magazines also so from our part we are trying to do everything to make you aware of the happenings in the business world now it is up to you if you want to read those magazines very good it will definitely be helpful to you but if you are not reading or if you are ignoring the mails then it is very difficult पढ़ा है कि आप लोगों ने आजकल न्यूज़पेपर में ये बहुत सारे आर्टिकल्स आ रहे हैं किसी ने पढ़ा है क्या नो सर नहीं ठीक है आई हैव नॉट रीड कौन सा न्यूज़पेपर पढ़ते हो बेटा 
हेलो अभी एक न्यूज बहुत वायरल हुआ फोटो एच का वेकेंसी था देखा है क्या किसी ने एच की वेकेंसी है और वहां पर बोल्ड में लिखा हुआ है बोल्ड में क्या लिखा है कि कोविड बैच मतलब कि जो बच्चे ऑनलाइन से पास हो रहे हैं दोज स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट अलाउड फॉर द इंटर ये देखा है क्या किसी ने न्यूज यस सर देखा था देखा व्हाट्सएप पे भी बहुत वायरल हो रहा है व्हाट्सएप पे भी बहुत वायरल हुआ क्यों ऐसा हुआ उसका रीजन पता चला यस सर इन ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट आर नॉट ज्वाइनिंग लेक्चर्स एंड दे आर नॉट अपग्रेडिंग देयर सेल्फ दैट्स द रीजन ओनली वेरी गुड बहुत ज्यादा वायरल हुआ ये वेरी गुड अद्वित तो ऐसा अगर आप लोग पढ़ेंगे तो आप लोगों को पता चलेगा कंपनी ने जानबूझ के ऐसा नहीं किया है वन ऑफ द रेप्यूटेड बैंक इन द कंट्री इफ दैट कंपनी इज हाइलाइटिंग दिस देयर माइट बी सम रीजन बिहाइंड इट एंड द रीजन वॉज क्या रीजन है उसका बहुत सिंपल रीजन है और सिंपल जस्टिफिकेशन क्या मिला है पता है आपको कि इंटरव्यू में जब बच्चों को पूछा गया कि फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर के सब्जेक्ट्स के नाम बता दो वो भी बताना नहीं आ रहा है कौन सा एक्सटर्नल कौन सा इंटरनल कुछ पता नहीं है समर इंटर्नशिप में किया क्या है आई एम नॉट अवेयर ऑफ वैसा तो कुछ किया ही नहीं हमने ऐसा सुनने के बाद ये दिया गया है कंपनी ने बहुत सारे इंटरव्यूज लिए और वो ही एक कंपनी नहीं है उन्होंने तो बोल्डली ऐसा कदम उठाया है सबके सामने अब आप जब कंपनी में इंटरव्यू के लिए जाएंगे तब आपको पता चलेगा कि अब बहुत सारी कंपनी फॉलो कर रही है वो प्रचार नहीं कर रहे इसका पर फॉलो करना उन्होंने शुरू कर दिया है इसमें क्या होगा कि जो सिंसियर है वो भी फंस रहे क्या आप उस बैच के हो क्या दस बच्चों को नहीं आया मतलब ग्यारहवें बच्चों को भी नहीं आएगा ऐसा पकड़ के चल रहे हैं लोग जो नहीं होना चाहिए अब वो क्यों हो रहा है तो रीजन सबके सामने उन्होंने प्रूफ करके दिया कि अगर बच्चे को सिलेबस ही नहीं पता तो नॉलेज क्या होगा तो अगर आपको नॉलेज गेन करना है अगर अच्छे से अच्छी ओपनिंग चाहिए बहुत सारी ओपनिंग्स हैं ऐसा नहीं है कि अभी ओपनिंग बंद हो गई बहुत ओपनिंग्स हैं पर हर जगह आपका नॉलेज चेक किया जाएगा प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट अगर आप अपने नॉलेज को अपडेट कर सके अपग्रेड कर सके तो बहुत अपॉर्चुनिटीज है आपके लिए और अगर नहीं कर सके तो फिर कोई अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं देन गो एंड कॉम्पीट विद एस एस सी स्टूडेंट बीपीओ में जॉब करो एस एस सी के स्टूडेंट के साथ डेढ़ लाख का पैकेज एंजॉय करो साल का दैट इज द क्लियर सिचुएशन ना यस सर एक्चुअली बैच पूछ रहे हैं आजकल एच आर लोग कौन से बैच से पास आउट हो हाँ बेटा yes, उसके पीछे रीजन है क्या रीजन है तो यही रीजन है ना क्योंकि कंपनी अब जस्ट इमेजिन अब सपोज एक कंपनी है बहुत बड़ी आईटी कंपनी है उसको सौ अभी फ्रेश ग्रेजुएट्स चाहिए हंड्रेड ग्रेजुएट्स अब अगर हंड्रेड ग्रेजुएट्स वो लोग लेने के लिए पहुंच जाते हैं किसी कॉलेज में और पूरा बैच ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन में गया है सबको सेवेंटी परसेंट नहीं एट्टी नाइनटी नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट मार्क्स है अब नाइन्टी परसेंट मार्क्स वाले स्टूडेंट से क्या एक्सपेक्टेड है कंपनी को कि बहुत अच्छा स्टूडेंट होना चाहिए एकेडमिक्स में इतना अच्छा है तो उसका नॉलेज तो एकेडमिक्स में बहुत अच्छा है अब नाइन्टी परसेंट वाला स्टूडेंट अगर सब्जेक्ट के नाम ना बता सके तो कंपनी फ्रस्ट्रेट नहीं होगी दे आर इन्वेस्टिंग ह्यूज मनी इन अरेंजिंग इंटरव्यूज इन कंडक्टिंग इंटरव्यूज 
in screening your application in they are investing hugely in training the person who is hired 15 din ki 10 din ki jo training dete hain usme bhi to paisa lagta hai jab itna investment kiya ja raha hai to company kya chahti hai ki acche se acha candidate mile ab ek hr ek company ka jata hai ek कॉलेज में सौ बच्चे इंटरव्यू करता है एक भी उसे बच्चा पसंद नहीं आता पर उस एचआर के शायद दस दोस्त होंगे जो अलग अलग कंपनीज में एचआर होंगे वो उनको भी मैसेज डाल देता है कि कुछ मतलब नहीं है जिन्होंने इंटरव्यू नहीं लिया उनके मन में भी वो ये आ जाता है कि नहीं ऑनलाइन मतलब कुछ भी नहीं आता बच्चों को और वैसा प्रूव होते जा रहा है दिस इज द रियल पिक्चर हमारे को भी इंटरव्यू कॉलेज में अगर ऑर्गेनाइज करना हो तो पहले ही हमारा इंटरव्यू होता है और बाद में दूसरे का सर एक्चुअली वो 2016-17 बैच से अभी लेना चाहते हैं लोगों को क्योंकि करंट बैच दे आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड ऐसे मैंने भी सुना है मीटिंग वेरी गुड वेरी गुड मतलब आप अभी तक इस पिक्चर में हो कान आपके खुले हुए हैं आंखें आपकी खुली हुई है बहुत अच्छा बाकी कान बंद आंख बंद ऐसा रहेगा तो सिचुएशन अलार्मिंग है इसमें कॉलेज की कोई गलती नहीं है हम लोग हमारी तरफ से पूरा कोशिश कर रहे हैं अभी मैनेजमेंट को ऐसा लगा डायरेक्टर सर का भी एक सजेशन था कि बच्चे अभी घर पर हैं तो हम लोग उनको कुछ एक्स्ट्रा दे सकते हैं क्या तो एक टाइप हुआ कि ठीक है ऑनलाइन ई मैगजीन मंगाएंगे हम लोग सब्सक्राइब हम करेंगे और बच्चों को फ्री में देंगे आप अगर वो मैगजीन भी पढ़ते हैं तो बहुत नॉलेज आप गेन कर सकते हैं अगर नहीं तो फिर कुछ नहीं हो सकता केसेस क्यों पढ़ के आने चाहिए क्योंकि इसी से नॉलेज बढ़ने वाला है नहीं तो इट विल बी वन वे चालीस लेक्चर का हम लोग दस पंद्रह लेक्चर में खत्म कर देंगे खत्म हो गया आप सिलेबस समझा नहीं समझा हमारे को कोई मतलब नहीं है क्योंकि इट शुड बी टू वे जब तक आप पढ़ोगे नहीं जब तक आप समझोगे नहीं तब तक आपको समझ में आएगा नहीं आप वहां पर टीवी देख रहे हैं सिर्फ लॉगिन कर दिया है बाहर घूम रहे हैं लॉगिन कर दिया है हमारे को भी कुछ पता नहीं चलेगा वी विल थिंक दैट वी हैव डिलीवर्ड द सेशन वेरी वेल बट इफ द स्टूडेंट इज नॉट लर्निंग आउट ऑफ इट देन the lecture is not at all delivered well please remember that theek hai to hum log to hamari taraf se puri koshish karenge aap log apni taraf se koshish karo jitna zyada knowledge gain kar sakte ho koshish karo utna zyada badhane ki nahi to situation is alarming i'm telling you again and again yes anybody who knows about the tata case which is related to corporate governance except omkar omkar ko chhod ke agar kisi ne padha hai to boliye yes नो पंद्रह बच्चे हैं किसी ने नहीं पढ़ा किसी को पता भी नहीं है कुछ रफ आइडिया कभी टीवी पे सुना हो यस सर साइरस मिस्त्री को टाटा ग्रुप का ये कर दिया था जब क्या मथोरिटी मिली थी तब सम कुछ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हुए सर रिगार्डिंग टू द क्या बोल सकते हैं इनसाइड द कंपनी की शेयर क्योंकि सायरस मिस्त्री ज्यादा शेयर होल्ड करते थे शायद आई थिंक सर 
नॉट श्योर सो उसकी वजह से कुछ तो प्रॉब्लम हो गए इन साइड ऑफ द कंपनी उसकी वजह से उनको हटा दिया गया ये बहुत साल पहले मैंने पढ़ा था अभी याद नहीं आ रहा है सर बस हां इतना ही याद है सर अभी अच्छा और वेरी गुड बराबर है ये और किसी को कुछ और किसी को यस एनीबॉडी एल्स गर्ल्स यस गर्ल्स so good to see that boys are reading very good girls girls hain kya class mein abhi yes sir okay okay yes girls are there so no one has <coughs> yes omkar what you have read about this uh, sir tata case mein uh, teen th- point hue the sir uh, ule tata power and wells pan aur tata docomo japan and conflict of interest teen uh, type mein case hua tha so uh-huh. pehle 2013 mein uh, 2016 mein uh, 9249 crores mein tata ne वेल्सपन को परचेस किया और वो टाटा सन्स के बोर्ड के सामने नहीं आया इसके कारण उन्हें कॉम्फ्लिक्ट हो गया था दूसरी बात टाटा डोकोमो डोकोमो इन्वेस्टमेंट टू थाउजेंड जापान की कंपनी थी उसने 2.7 बिलियन डॉलर्स और परचेस किया था 26.5 परसेंट स्टेक परचेस किया था सर 2.7 बिलियन डॉलर्स में उन्होंने कहा था अगर सेट टारगेट अचीव नहीं हुआ तो तेरह पॉइंट वन पॉइंट थ्री बिलियन डॉलर्स को टाटा को पे करना पड़ेगा अगर अगर वो टारगेट अचीव हो गया तो फिफ्टी वन परसेंट स्टेक उनको मिलेगा लेकिन आरबीआई के रूल चेंज होने के कारण प्राइस डिसाइड वो अलाउ नहीं हुआ है वो पाए उनको ओके और और कॉम्प्यूटर ऑफ इंटरेस्ट में टाटा और शेपोर जी पालन जी विल बी डिफरेंट ऐसा उन्होंने बोला था टाटा और शिपोजी के जो डॉक्यूमेंट कॉम्प्यूटर ऑफ इंटरेस्ट का डॉक्यूमेंट है सो वो अलग रहेगा सर लेकिन वो ऐसा नहीं हो पाया टाटा के कुछ डॉक्यूमेंट्स शिपोन जी पालन जी के ग्रुप ने ग्रुप के पास गए थे उसके कारण वो कंप्यूटर हो गया हां और कंप्यूटर ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इस कारण ठीक है वेरी गुड मींस यू हैव रेड द केस वेरी वेल वेरी गुड यस नाउ ओमकार यू जस्ट बी क्वाइट अ शापोर जी पलोन जी नाम सुना है शापोर जी पलोन जी ओमकार को छोड़ के किसने सुना है शापोर जी पलोन जी एनी वन हु हैज हर्ड द नेम शापोर जी पलोन जी है? अरे पूना में भी है शापुर जी पलोन जी यस सर पूना में है हिंदी क्या है वो सर वो इन्वेस्टर से आई थिंक सर क्या है इन्वेस्टर से आई थिंक अच्छा किस में इन्वेस्टर है uh, उतना आइडिया नहीं सर ये जो ये टाटा भी इन्वेस्ट करते हैं और ये मिस्त्री फैमिली से बिलोंग करते हैं इतना पता है और साइरस मिस्त्री का इसकी वजह से ही तो ज्यादा शेयर था क्योंकि मोर शेयर्स इन टाटा ग्रुप सो वो एक रीजन था उनको बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर में ऐड करने का एक बड़ा रीजन था बट कुछ इंटरनल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट जैसे ओमकार ने बताए उसकी वजह से और वो खुद की कर रहे थे ऐसा न्यूज में सुना था so that's the reason, uh, उनको चेयरमैन से हटा दिया गया वेरी गुड तो शापोर जी पलोन जी यस गर्ल्स हुई शापोर जी पलोन जी
शापोर जी पलोन जी इज अ वेरी फेमस कंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी ऑफ द कंट्री इट इज द सिंगल लार्जेस्ट कंपनी विच इज होल्डिंग मोस्ट ऑफ द टाटा शेयर्स आउटसाइड द टाटा फैमिली टाटा फैमिली के बाहर टाटा सन्स के बाहर टाटा ट्रस्ट के बाहर टाटा की जो फैमिली है उनके बाहर अगर किसी के पास सबसे ज्यादा टाटा ग्रुप ऑफ कंपनीज के शेयर्स है तो वो कंपनी है शापोर जी पलोन जी कंपनी वन ऑफ द वेरी फेमस one of the oldest construction company of the country which was owned by the family of mr cyrus mistri cyrus mistri ki family own karti hai pure india mein inke projects hain aaj bhi pune mein bhi real estate mein sabse zyada investment inka hai matlab company ka जो मेन फोकस है दैट इज रियल एस्टेट पूना में भी कई प्रोजेक्ट शापोर जी पलोन जी कंपनीज के चल रहे नाउ द रीजन बिहाइंड द डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन द टाटा सन्स और द बोर्ड टाटा बोर्ड एंड द चेयरमैन हु वॉज मिस्टर साइरस मिस्त्री so dispute part we will discuss later on first we will discuss why this gentleman called cyrus mistri was hired as the chairman or appointed as the chairman of the tata board of company the reason was not that he is having the highest stake after tata family after tata son in the tata group of company the reason that could be one of the reason but there were many reasons <coughs> and one of the reason is that he was the finest suited businessman who can take the control of tata companies as chairman at that particular moment and it was decided by the board of tata group various interview rounds were taken you will be surprised to know that it took around 3 years to finalize this position and for this position cyrus mistri was not the only person who was interviewed there were some foreign professionals also the ceos of world's best of the best companies were also interviewed by the tata board for the position of chairman of tata group of industries and the reason was that mr ratan tata has informed the board that after 70 he wants to step down as the chairman of the tata group of companies whereas the board wanted mr ratan tata to continue but he was of the opinion that as he was nearing 70s <coughs> the company should look out for a new chairman who can make the company more profitable and for that around for 3 years the company started searching for the right candidate various ceos of reputed companies all over the world were interviewed 
because the person will be designated as chairman of one of the largest companies in the world or one of the largest conglomerate in the world now mr cyrus mistry was found that he is very much suitable for the position and after number of interviews this position was finalized now as omkar has studied the case he has given the three points also that because of these three points there was a conflict there was a dispute between tata group and mr cyrus mistry and he has to step down or we can say that he himself didn't step down but he was forced by the board that he should leave the position of the or quit the position of chairman so we will continue in the next session so by then i once again request you that please come prepared for the case the case will be same plus come prepared for another case also and the case related to king fisher airlines and fortis f o r t i s fortis so we will try to cover the three cases we will complete this uh, tata group versus cyrus mystery plus we will be discussing about fortis and king fisher airline and then we will start with the our actual sessions right so please come prepared for the next lecture maybe tomorrow if we are having session come prepare tomorrow we will try to complete this particular case right so yes, thank sir. you for everyone thank you for joining today's session thank you sir thank you